Hey guys, welcome to No Good Engineer, and in this video we'll see how to make a profile page for your users. In this profile page, the user will be able to upload his data and edit or change it whenever he or she desires. Uh, for to make a, to make a feature like a profile page, a good understanding of how databases work on Bubble will be really useful. I made another video on how databases work and how to think about databases while we are working in Bubble and designing in Bubble. I would really recommend you to watch that video before continuing with this one. Alright, so let's get started and build the profile page. The first thing we'll do is uh, select the page to build a profile. I built all these pages in the previous videos and I'm gonna click on the profile page which is completely empty and build my profile page here. There's already a text box which says profile. I'm gonna put some elements here. In my profile page, I think I'll need a picture uploader. I'll ask the user to upload a picture here. And then I'll ask for the first name and last name. Ask the first name. Content format will be text. I'm gonna copy it, paste it here. I'm gonna ask the last name of the users. And then a drop down where I ask the where I ask if the person is a male or a female. I'll be the placeholder. And these will be our static choices. These are the choices that the user can select. And then I'll have an option to input the date of, date of birth. For that, we'll need a plugin. You can type in date here. It's an element. And here you will see an option, air date and time picker. It's a plugin, I have already installed it but you just have to click on the install button here and click on done and it will appear here on your panel. Because I already installed it, you can see it here, the early event time picker. I'm gonna click on it, I'm gonna drag it here. And just the width. And I'm gonna give it the border. Actually, I want to give it the same border that these input boxes have. So what I can do is I can click on this input box, go to styles, click on the empty option, and I can see all the properties of this input box. What I see here in the border, it says the roundness is five. I can see the color. I can copy the color here and give the same color to the border of the date picker. I'm gonna give it the solid border, the color will be this, the roundness 5 and width 2. And one more thing, we'll set the maximum date because we have to set the maximum date to something because the person uh, registering on your website would not be older, would not be younger than let's say 15 or 10 years old. And definitely his birthday is not gonna be after the date which is today so here we can have an option for the maximum date and right now just for simplicity I can say current date in time and I'll close this box and finally I can have a multi-line input where the user can say something about themselves. Alright, that's it. I'll arrange it a bit for it to look a bit better. Okay, looks okay. Alright, I have to show you one thing, uh, this is a lesson in design and when you go to preview, 
when you go to preview you see that all the input boxes look so messed up they are all stressed out across the page and they're not even aligned properly there is a really good way to fix it you can select all your input boxes and group them together you can you have to right click on one element group them group elements in a group and there you go you have grouped all your input boxes in one group stretch it out a bit and then you have to double click on your group and select this option make this element fixed width when you when you check this box you, what you're telling bubble is that this this group is going to have the fixed width so don't stretch it when when you when you have different desktop sizes and one last thing we need is a button which the user can click and save all the information that he put in the input boxes you can name it button save this button save will also be inside this group all right this looks good let's look in the preview if everything looks good now see now you can see all the elements are aligned perfectly because they're all inside a group and we said that the group should be a fixed width very well now let's give life to this button save double click on it start edit workflow click here to add an action now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take all the information here that the user inputs and save it in our database we can go to data and make changes to a thing the thing that we're gonna change is the current users information things to change will be current user click here change another field let's add a new field here the first thing we'll save is first name this will be a text and the second thing we'll, we can save is the, the last name create a new field which will be text and then we can save the the sex of the user pull the text again and then we can have a field for the date of birth the field type would be date and one final field for well not a final field we have the picture and the description we can create a new field for description where the user says about himself or herself it'll be a text and then we can have a field for the picture you can name it profile picture the field type would be an image and click on create all right we have all the fields inside current user now let's take the data from somewhere for the first name the first name will come from the input first name this is the input box we have on our profile page last name would come from input last name's value sex would come from the drop down the date of birth will come from the air date time picker the description would come from multi-line input say something about yourself and the profile picture would come from the picture uploader all right that's it and after we have taken and saved all the data in the database we have to show something some input from the computer so that the user knows that when you click the button something happened and his data is saved so for that we can just refresh the page once all right now let's test it click on preview let's upload our picture here i like this koala and I give it the first name Bob Builder it's a male and give it the date of birth I don't know when Bob the Builder was born but let's say 1990 December 31st 
I'll say I hi I am Bob the Builder and I make buildings all right we have all the data here and then we can click on save to save all the data into our database let's click on save here this page is not refreshing okay okay first thing I notice is that the page refreshed and after that all the data from here is gone now let's see let's look at our database to see if the data that we created is saved or not when you go back to your database here let's try to refresh it because I cannot see anything here let's try to refresh it. go to app data all right now you can see that in the current user section all the things that we inputted we can see it here the date of birth the description the first name last name the profile picture the sex everything is saved in the database so our profile from the profile page that we just created it works now one one problem is that after the person clicks on save everything just disappears one way to one way to fix that is to tell the input box to have an initial content there we can tell the input box we can double click on it we can say here in the dynamic images to take the image always from current users profile picture then we can say here in the input box the initial content would be current users first name the last name would be current users last name and this drop down the default value would be current users sex the air date and time picker the initial content would be current users date of birth and for this the initial content would be current users description all right let's go back and refresh it let's see if uh, all the data is visible again yes it is so you see now we can now even try to change some things for example for example we can say I'm not Bob the Builder I'm Joe builder and you see when you click on save it will refresh again but now it will save the data even in this form nice so guys that's how you create the profile page for your users I'll come back with more videos and more lessons thank you for watching take care bye bye see you soon